having access to this collection, I think will do wonders to the future of storytelling. My name is Renata Charlize, and I'm an artist and memory worker. I am also the founder of Black Archives, which is a multimedia platform that shines a spotlight on the Black experience. Black History and Culture Collection is an incredible resource by Getty Images that offers access to a wide range of Black historical and cultural imagery. This initiative allows artists, storytellers, scholars, and everyday people the opportunity to expand on and create new bodies of work. I'm Deb Willis. I'm a professor of photography and imaging at the Tisch School of the Arts, New York University. I'm also a photographer and I write about photography, specifically African-American photographers and looking at the African diaspora in terms of storytelling through photography. My name is Takufu Zuberi. I am a professor, I am a documentary filmmaker, I'm a curator of museums and exhibits. I am a person who is creatively trying to use content and create content that helps us better understand what it means to be a human being. The Black History and Culture Collection is an important aspect for Getty Images as it introduces um, images that have been overlooked, ignored, um, introduced new images that were unknown. It was an opportunity for visitors, users of collections such as this Getty collection to see a broader history of Black people. My opportunity in working with the collection was to re-identify some of the terms that were asserted terms that were assigned to the images and having that opportunity helped me shape and reshape the collection. This archive is important because it allows visual representations of Black life to the general public more broadly and in this era where people are increasingly visualizing the stories that they tell, it is becoming even more important. One of the things that I love is being a witness to Black people dancing. And so all of the photographs of Black people in movement, I'm really drawn to. And there's, there's a particular series of the Savoy Ballroom in the 1940s that's so intimate and life-giving. And I love those images. There's, there's also another series of Black folks dancing in the Audubon Ballroom in the 1950s, which is also pretty spectacular. But, you know, in the same breath, we also know what tragic event took place in the same ballroom in 1965 with Malcolm X. And so there's always this joy in one hand and grief in the other, and you're met with all of these emotions at once. Black culture is the original human culture. So there is no culture that is alien to Black culture. The future of Black culture is the future of human culture. Let's go. Intentionality. We all have to continue to be intentional about the stories we tell and delve into the unseen, the untold, and the uncovered. I think sometimes we get so caught up in telling the stories that people remember, but um, I think there's so much more power in unearthing the forgotten, and we should lean into the intentionality of carrying all of our stories with us.